All right, today we're going to be talking about the resume. Uh, the resume is like a regular resume where it has your credentials or the shows that you've done. Uh, and it's to, to help the people who are you auditioning for to know what you've done. Um, there, this is a basic layout. Um, and we're going to be talking about this now and then one of these class periods we'll work on our resumes together and you can show me um, what you have. The first thing, and this is the most important thing, is just put everything that you have on your resume, but if, um, if you feel like you don't have a whole lot, people know that and we can help with the format and I can help you format it um, to look. I'm showing you one that has quite a bit of quite a bit of um, shows but but not really I mean I'm sure for Kate who I don't know by the way I just like this resume um, she probably has more stuff so it's not about how much it's about the format so at the top you see the biggest thing in the uh, in, in, on the resume is her name uh, and she did this clever thing where she had Kate in bold and then her name in that you, you don't have to do that you could do that um, but this just needs to be the biggest font. We're talking like a 32 uh, font. And this can be a different font style than uh, down here. This needs to be kind of normal, typical. You can get kind of creative. Like, see, go through and see how many, um, what your name looks like in each font. That's always fun. So that's your first assignment is make it really big uh, and center. Uh, and uh, put that up there. Now you've got the headshot here. That's not mandatory. That's kind of 50-50. Uh, it's kind of nice because you're, what will be on the other side of this is your full headshot, um, but maybe having a different look um, on this one than the one on the other side. But this is optional. You don't have to have it, but if you've got a, a headshot and you can play with that, by all means do that, but that's optional. Then up on the heading, so this is called the heading with your name, so the heading part. So the next is going to be your website, which you will create in class two. Um, so uh, you can just kind of put a dummy uh, website in there, or um, if you already have one, put it there. Then the next important thing is going to be your email, uh, which is here, uh, and then your phone number. Please, please, whatever you do, don't put your address. Don't ever put your address on a resume. It doesn't belong there. You don't need creepers coming to look at you. And then this last row, um, you've got your height, uh, your vocal range, uh, and some other people do like eye color and, and hair color. But if you've got this, you don't really need to do that because it's right there. Um, so those are the things kind of for the header. So if you want to explore this more google actors resume and kind of see what other things are on the header but for me for class the most important thing is big name your website your email your phone number height and um, maybe not even vocal range so that's the header and then we move down to the bulk of it, the main part of your resume, and you're going to need to figure out headings that you have. Um, Kate chose New York theater, regional theater, film and television, commercial, educational theater. It's pretty common. You guys are kind of already in educational theater, so you need to take your educational theater and find categories within that themselves. Ways to do that are by genre, so you could do like classical theater, uh, just theater, musical theater. Um, you could do one that's high school, uh, college, uh, community theater. I can help you with your. Um, I can help you with your categories when we work on this in class. Um, but start thinking about what categories you want um, to put, and those are the headers up here. Now, one thing that Kate doesn't have that I really like that I should have found is I like the my the, the best advice my agent gave me was to put lines just right under oops sorry that's embarrassing uh, put put a line so how you do that in word is you just do the dashes and then press enter and I can show you this in class and then boom it'll put a nice close line right under that right and put a line all, right all under your headings and that'll look really nice because what my agent said was 
looking at Kate's, you're only going to look at like these first three or four. But if you do a line, it's forcing the eye to compartmentalize, I'm not sure if that's a word, uh, into chunks. And so you can see those chunks there. So those are your headers. Uh, and then I'm a big fan of Kate, uh, where you've got the four column. A lot of people only have three column, uh, which here you always put the show. So show is always first. Don't put the dates like Kate did. You don't have to put the dates. So the show, the role, uh, where you did it, and the director. Okay. Um, so uh, those are the four columns. And also, what I love about Kate's is look how straight that is. I'm going. I'm going to not accept your resume unless it is straight. And that's super simple. You just tab, 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 tab over you're good uh there you will have some some ones uh labels that are longer and that'll kind of dictate your um dictate where you tab but it's really important to tab uh and it's also important knowing that this is going to go on a five by ten uh headshot um so you need to keep that and you so you could put it in word put it as a five by ten um, limits limitation for for the word doc so you've got the headers you've got one two three four it's very clean those are all the shows that you've done let's see let's look at I've done the pun and see now look what Kate did here I actually wouldn't recommend doing this the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee regional tour um, well you already got regional up here so you could take out tour and and or tour as some people say uh, you could just put like 25th annual Putnam, 25th annual Putnam spelling bee or spelling bee or something. You need to put it, and I can help you with abbreviations, but I don't like this blank space here. Um, so there's ways that you can abbreviate to still help know what show they're doing. Sexting the musical, hmm, interesting. Um, okay, so uh, proof. Yay, we love proof. Catherine, nice. Uh, Yep, I have yeah, service, Catherine. So, um, headings, right, of those. And then uh, here's an important education and training. Um, she has an MFA in acting uh, from the Actors Studio Drama School of Pace at Pace University. Never heard of it, uh, which is fine. Uh, and so here where you're going to put all the training that you've had, and these are classes, voice lessons, movement, um, people that you've worked with, uh, I can help you in class, but think about, think about, um, all the training you've had. Um, and I would try to, this is a lot of negative space here. I'd much rather have this maybe be over here. I can help you with that. It's all about, uh, dividing the space from the positive, which is the words in the negative space, which is the blanks. And then again, still do use lines. So you have your lines over here, your lines over here. Uh, and then your last one is special skills with a line. Um, and these are all of the extra things that make you unique. So for her, she's got quite a bit of accents, which is cool. She's a singer. We already know that because we're up there, but that's fine to say it down here again. Actor who moves. So she's she's taken some movement classes, but I don't see any dance. Well, no, that's not true. Alan Avey, dance. So she's had African dance, ballroom dance. So she's calling herself a mover and not a dancer. And this raises another point about resume is you don't ever want to lie, but you want to tell the truth really good, right? Uh, and and don't don't lie because people will catch you in lies. It's a small world. What else does she have? Irish dance, um, kickboxing, beginning, I mean, snowboarding. You're like, why? Well, because of commercials, right? Uh, anything. So for me, uh, I would put like, dog whisper. I would put um, stuff like, I can play tennis, I can play pickleball, I can play trombone, I can, you know, any kind of the quirky extra skills that you have. Um, put them down and then that's it so that's the basic understanding of a resume um, like I said we'll work on this in class but I want you to watch this before and um, 
maybe have a start of what's going so we can just take one day to really knock out these resumes and get them going. Um, but if you have any questions after this lecture, please, like usual, don't hesitate to either email or text me um, with your questions and I will help you with your resume.